In this tutorial, I'm going to show uh, you how to use Kong because I know sometimes uh, people can have issues uh, when you first get started if you just don't know how to actually get sound. You hear sound coming out, but then you're like, okay, what's next? Um, but you actually have to record it into the sequence in order to hear it play back. So you're going to hit um, asterisk key on the numeric keypad. Um, to record, or you can hit record right here, turn on your pre count, and you click and um, set your tempo. You want to quantize it the way that you want it quantized, and then hit record. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how to get those tracks separate because everything that I record. Your kick, your snare, your hi hats, um, your rides, whatever you have in your kit is going to be recorded, recorded on one pattern. But I'm going to show you how to get those each separated down. So once you go to track your session down, um, or if you're rewiring in the Pro Tools or into any other doll, then um, you'll be straight on that. Okay, I'm just going to record a sequence in the Kong. Um, so that was to show that once you go through it one time and you get what you want and you decide you want to keep playing around with it um, you can actually hit control Z and it's going to delete the last thing you just did so if I hit control Y it's going to bring me back and show me that stuff that I was just hitting which was all of that on the second time around and then when I hit control Z even though I recorded it all at once it's just going to take away what I did on a second loop. So now all I have is the kick that was playing the first time. It's already quantized to my grid too because I hit quantized during record to the eighth note. So um, now I'm going to go back. I actually didn't intend to do that. It just came about because I forgot where everything was. Okay, so I have the snare. Let's I'm not going to use that. Put my hat. Okay. It's going to loop. And I accidentally clicked that one, so if I hit control, and, and it, you can use the up and down arrows and it'll move it up, or you can just click and drag up. So now I have that like that. Um, and for the purpose of this video, I just leave it like that. And I'll add one more. Okay, so now I have my high hats in. And next thing I'm going to do now, um, all right, you have everything in there now, got it planned. You can adjust the volumes over here. That's pretty self-explanatory. Pan and uh, pitch control. If you hit show drum and effects, you can add whatever effects you want to by clicking here. But uh, the main thing I wanted to show you was click on your pattern. And then in your tool window, go to explode. Click on move. And now I have everything separated. So now I can have individual control uh, over it later.
that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, um, let me know and I could do another tutorial. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter at Quiana Lachey. Um, Q U I O N A Lachey. L A S H A Y. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for subscribing to my channel and um, more to come. God bless you.